What's going on YouTube? This your boy I am Core from the accolades.com. Hey, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so y'all can get notifications whenever I upload more videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at I am Core, A M K H O R D, and I'll follow y'all back as soon as I can. Hey, appreciate the support. We ain't gonna waste too much time. Let's get right into it. Bye. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This your boy I am Core from the accolades.com back with a tutorial. So for this tutorial, you know, I wanted to do something to kind of like help out the artists or whatnot, do like a little course uh, of stuff that you, you probably should know about, such as like split sheets, um, registering your music on BMI or ASCAP or CSEC, whichever one of the PROs that you use, copyrighting your music and stuff like that. So for this tutorial, we're going to start with the split sheets. So a split sheet, a split sheet is pretty much a document that states who wrote what of, a, of the song. You know what I'm saying? It's broken down by percentages in terms of publishing. So songwriters, producer, or the producers, whoever made the beat, they're the ones who need to be using split sheets. And it's different exceptions to this, especially if it's like, for one example, um, if, it's an, if it's a sample involved. If it's a sample involved in the beat, you know, you need to get in touch with the original producer, you know, whether it be them personally or their publishing company, and let them know, hey, I'm going to be using this. You know what I'm saying? 99.9% .9 of the time, they're going to want a percentage of that as well. Number two, like I said, split sheets are for the writers and the producer. But example number two is if it's a major artist, such as like your Beyonce's, your Rihanna's, your Justin Bieber's, even though they might not have wrote the song, they're going to want a percent. You know what I'm saying? And if they say they want 30% of the splits, you know what I'm saying? With them being a major artist, you already know that whatever song they put out, it's, it's going to do, do numbers. So I wouldn't be like, oh, no, nah, I'm getting 10%. No, you'll be stupid as hell to not let them get that 30 or 40% of what they asked for. So... When should a split sheet be filled out? After the song has been recorded, once the last person leave out the booth or whatever, while everyone is in that room, you should fill out a split sheet right then and there. That way, later on down the road, it ain't no arguments like, nah, I did this or whatnot. No, you do it right then and there. So everybody agree upon what they did and get everything done in writing and sign the split sheets. So... How the split's broken down. So a song is worth 100%. The producer or the composer automatically gets 50% of that, that, that split. Then it goes on to the writers. So the other 50% goes to the writers of the song. So typically, a hook is worth 25%. Verses are worth 10%. If it's like a two-verse two, uh, two song, the verses are usually worth 10%. And the bridges are worth 5% if there is a bridge. If it's not a bridge, then take that 5%, break it down amongst the verses or the artists that wrote, you know? At the end of the day, it's all about what you agree upon. But 50% goes to the writers, 50% goes to the producers. Like I said, before leaving out the room, make sure you fill out a split sheet. So let's get into some examples of how a split sheet works. Okay, so we got three examples that I'm gonna go through. So the first example, you have collaborated with three other writers and written a song called Happy Thursday. You, which is writer one, wrote the bridge, the lyrics and the melody for it. Writer two wrote the first verse, lyric and melody. Writer three wrote the chorus, lyrics and melody. Writer four wrote the second verse, lyrics and melody, as well as did all the music as far as composing it. So let's list the publishing for the splits for the song Happy Thursday. So writer one, we said writer one wrote the bridge. Like I told you, typically the verse, I mean the, the bridge is worth 5%. So I'll put the number five. I keep hitting this dog on cord to my mic, my bad. So, 
There we go. As we stated, writer two wrote the verse. So he wrote the uh, the first verse. So like I said, if it's two verses, you know, break it down by 10. So we got 10%. Writer three wrote the chorus. As I stated, usually the hooks are worth more than your verse. So the hook is typically worth 25%. So we're gonna put 25%. And writer four wrote the second verse and did the music. So as I said, the music or the whoever produced the beat, composed it or whatever, is worth 50%. So writer four gets 50% automatically for making the beat. Plus, he did the second verse. He or she did the second verse. So you add 50 plus that 10. So writer four gets 60%. Boom. So when you add all these numbers up, they should total to 100%, as they do. So 25 plus 5, 30. 30 plus 10, 40. 40 plus 60 equals 100. So that's 100% of the splits broken down amongst the writers and the producer. All right. So in example two, you have collaborated with three other writers and wrote a song called Sad Thursday. You, which is the writer one, you wrote the chorus. Writer two wrote the first and second verse. Writer three wrote the bridge. And writer four did all the music. So let's list the splits for Sad Thursday. So writer one, which is you, you wrote the chorus. Like I said, the hooks are worth more. Writer two wrote the first and second verse. So like I said, if it's two verses, normally songs have two verses so 10 plus 10 that's 20 so boom 20 percent automatically writer three wrote the bridge okay writer three get five percent and writer four did all the music as far as made the beat or composed it damn they, that person gets 50 percent automatically so as you can see 20 plus 5 equals 25. 25 plus 25 equals 50. 50 plus 50 equals 100. So now we got it broken down. So let's do this last one. This last example, which contains a sample. So as you can see, you have collaborated with four other writers on a song called It's a Shame to Be So Lame. <laughs> which is a rap song. The song contains a sample from, from Smiley Big's song, Fotorious. The owner of the sample wants 50% of the song. The remaining writers have made the following contributions. Writer one wrote the hook. Writer two wrote the first verse. Writer three wrote the second verse. Writer four wrote the bridge. And writer five did all of the music. So since this contains a sample, we're going to start with Writer five. Writer five did all of the music. He produced it. He or she produced it. So that's 50%. But it contained the sample. The owner of the samples want 50% of that. So 50% of 50 is 25. So writer five gets 25%. The producer. The owner of the sample wants 25 of that. So boom. Then you got writer one, which is you. You wrote the hook. That's 25%. Writer two wrote the first verse. Okay. That's 10%. Writer three wrote the second verse. That's another 10%. And writer four wrote the bridge. That's 5%. So as you can see, all this adds up to be 100%. So let's look at the actual split sheet. I think I do have a split sheet brought up. And we go look at how to take this information and write it on the split sheet. I got it right here. Uh-oh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, maybe I got to minimize. Yep. So we got the split sheet right here. 
which is, is going to be available for you to download. I'm going to try to make these smaller. All right. Let's see if I can bring this down some. All right. A little bit more. So cool. So this is the split sheet. So when you have the split sheets, you got the song title. You write the name of the song, you know. So let's see if I can edit this. Where's the button? Edit PDF. Hopefully it don't act up. So the song title, it's a shame to be so lame. See if I can stretch this out. So you're gonna put the date. If more than one day, include each day. But say you did it all in one day. What's today's date? Today's date. Oh shoot. Look at my calendar. Is November 11th. So November. 11, 2017. The recording artist. So this is going to be, okay. Depend For this part, it depends on the song. If you wrote it for a song for, we going to say we wrote it for a doggone, I don't know, uh, Riri. We're going to put Riri. <laughs> I don't want to use like real names in here. So nobody, don't, you know, I ain't trying to get nobody's mouth. And the label. Okay, I ain't going to let me put the label. But we're going to say the label is Get Money. Get Money Records. It won't let me fill it out over there. I don't know why. Let's try it. Yeah. But just for this purpose, we ain't going to fill it out. So studio name is The Works. Studio address, 125 Wee Hill Street. Uh, Atlanta, GA, 30070. I don't know. Studio phone number, uh, 770 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if it contained a sample is in this example right here that we're gonna use, you know, you're gonna circle this. You're gonna have this printed out. So we're gonna make sure we have this circle. All right? So album and artist where sample originated. Sample came from Smalley Biggs. So Smalley Bigs song Votorious. All right. So we're going to start right at one. Right at one, which is you, you wrote the hook. So right at one gets, well, we're going to say me. You're going to fill out the address. I'm not going to go through this. We're going to fill out the address, fill out the phone number, the publishing company. If it, if you are assigned to a publishing company and that publishing company is entitled to a percentage of publishing, then you need to list that publishing company as well and what percent they're going to they get. So if you wrote the hook, which is 25%, and they want 50%, we're going to say the publisher company is uh, Top Notch, Top Notch Publishing. And they want 50%. You're going to write Top Notch here, Publishing, 25%. So with them taking, well, we're going to say they got they want 50%. So with their publishing company wanting 50% of what you did, you're going to take 25 
divided by two and that's 12.5 so they want 12.5 ownership or when we get down here to ownership you wrote the hook so you wrote the lyrics for the hook so that's 25 i mean 12.5 so 12.5 and 12.5 equals 25 percent of what you've done your affiliation whether you're with ascap bmi or csec so you just choose with circle whichever one and then you're going to put uh the writer's signature your signature and your CAE number. So your CAE is pretty much an international identification number assigned to the songwriters and publishers. So you can get this information from your BMI, ASCAP, or CSEC account. And remember, it's not your account number. So make sure you don't put your account number. You need your CAE number. And it stands for Composer, Author, Publisher. And you put your birth date. Then you go to Writer 2. So what Writer 2 done, you feel like this information as well. Say they're not assigned to a publisher company and they get that full 10%. They're going to circle BMI, put 10%, write the composer. I mean, write, uh, sign the split sheet, my bad. All right. So let's say we got down here to compose a writer five. This is the person that produced it that also used the sample. So writer number five, what that person need to do is fill out their information, who the person is, their name, I mean, their address, their phone number, and the publisher company. If a third party is entitled to a percentage of the publishing, then you need to list this information. This information will be the publishing company for the producer of the sample. So they want 25%. So you're gonna take that 25% and we're going to say uh, they made that hit publishing. That's their name. They made that hit publishing. They want 25% of your 50%. I mean, they want 50%. <laughs> I'm sorry. They want 50% of the 50% that you're supposed to get as a producer. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, as a producer, you're supposed to get 50% automatically. But... As you see right here, the owner of the sample wants 50% of the, of the song. You know what I'm saying? So, which is 50% of what you did as a producer. So, you're going to give them 25%. Then you're going to give yourself 25%. So, that equals 50. So, your affiliation, of that producer's affiliation, whatever company they're with, and they're going to sign it, put their CAE number, birthday. Like I said, make sure all this information gets filled out before everyone leaves the room. Make sure if you know it's a sample, before you even record, if you know you're gonna release it out to the public, put it on streaming services such as iTunes, anything like that, make sure you contact the original producer who, who you got the sample from. Because you don't want it to be a headache to when you release that, now they, they wanna sue you because you used it illegally. So hopefully this helps everyone out with the split sheets and, um, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna do some more tutorials trying to help help out, help out some of you artists. So the next tutorial is gonna be how to take this split sheet and use it to register the information under your ASCAP BMI CSEC. I have BMI, so I'm gonna show you how to do it on BMI. So like I said, hopefully that helps some of you out. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. The split sheet will be, you know, it'll be, you'll be able to download it in the link below. So until the next tutorial, peace out, bow.